Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you by the Noblesville Times Online in living color from the Times Studio. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for the weekend of June 18th and 19th, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by Hamilton Town Center, serving Noblesville since 2008. Located just off I-69 at exit 10 and 146th Street, Hamilton Town Center has over 80 specialty shops, including an IMAX theater. Over 7 million people each year visit Hamilton Town Center in Noblesville for a great day of shopping, dining, and entertainment. Experience Hamilton Town Center. In our top story today, a fatal crash claimed the lives of a Fisher's couple Friday afternoon in Noblesville. At 12.08 p.m., the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene at 146th Street and Gray Road. Units arriving at the scene discovered that the crash involved a box truck and a motorcycle with two occupants. The occupants of the motorcycle were deceased at the scene. A white Chevrolet G3500 box truck was driven by Jonathan Sentis, 20 of Carmel, and Robert E. Warren, 53 of Fishers, was driving the blue 2001 Honda Shadow motorcycle. His wife, Jana L. Warren, 53, was riding as passenger. The investigation is being conducted by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office crash team. In other news, the search for Dorothy Hurd, a 74-year-old missing woman from Noblesville, continued Friday as Noblesville police officers headed north to Wabash County as investigators focused their search in and around the area of Mississinawa Reservoir in Wabash. Investigators spent approximately eight hours searching for evidence and information on Hurd's disappearance. At the end of the day, a spokesperson said there was no additional information to report at this time. Hurd is described as a 74-year-old white woman with gray hair and blue eyes. She is 5'2 and weighs 137 pounds. Anyone with information regarding the disappearance of Hurd is urged to contact the Noblesville Police Department at 776-6371. It was through hard work and cooperation among law enforcement agencies in Hamilton County that led to the capture, conviction, and on Friday, the sentencing of an Indianapolis man for the armed robbery of the community bank in Cicero two years ago. United States Attorney Joseph H. Hogg said announced that the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department Friday that Christopher Titchener, 32, of Indianapolis was sentenced to 25 years in prison by U.S. District Judge Sarah Evans Barker. Following his guilty plea to armed bank robbery and the discharge of a firearm during that bank robbery. The case was the result of an investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the Cicero Police Department, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, the Noblesville Police Department, the Carmel Police Department, the Indiana State Police. Representatives from these agencies along with the U.S. Attorney's Office were all present during the announcement. The Hamilton Life Center welcomes the community to hear Indianapolis Colts Chaplain Dr. Ken Johnson at 1010 a.m. Sunday at the Center at 1516 Morton Street in Noblesville. Also, Washington Township Parks and Recreation invites the community to the second Red Bud Art Show from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. June 25th on the grounds across the street from the Washington Township offices. That's located at 1549 East Greyhound Pass in Carmel. This show is free of charge to the public. Additionally, the Sheridan Lions Club 4th of July Parade will start at 1030 a.m. on July 4th. The parade registration is from 9 to 10 a.m. There's no charge to participate. No four-wheelers will be allowed in the parade, however. Registration is at Sheridan High School at 24185 Hensley Road in Sheridan. Fun and food will be available to, at the Biddle Memorial Park before and after the parade. Along with the parade is the 24th annual Farmers Fast Line with the Sheridan Lions Club Antique Tractor Classic. Stay tuned, we've got sports and local weather both up next. Hamilton Town Center is a Simon Property Group open air mall. Open in Noblesville since 2008. We're located just off exit 10 at I-69 and 146th Street. Hamilton Town Center showcases over 80 specialty stores, including an IMAX theater, J.C. Penney, Old Navy, Bed Bath & Beyond, DSW Shoe Warehouse, and Banana Republic. We also have a Stone Creek Dining Company, Moe's Irish Pub, Red Robin, and more. Over 7 million shoppers every year visit Hamilton Town Center. We have a play area for kids, a huge fireplace, 
water fountains, walking paths, and family events and activities. Simon American Express gift cards are available for purchase every day at guest services. And Simon gift cards can be used at any Simon Mall and anywhere American Express is accepted nationwide. Hamilton Town Center is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sundays, 11 to 6 p.m. Restaurant, department store, and theater hours may vary. For a great day of shopping, dining, and entertainment, experience Hamilton Town Center. I'm Stu Clampett with a brief look at your local forecast. Paul Poteet will return on Monday. This extended forecast graphic is brought to you courtesy of paulpoteet.com. Today should be mostly cloudy until midday, then becoming partly cloudy. There's a chance of thunderstorms later on today, as there were some this morning. The high should be in the upper 80s. Tonight looks mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of thunderstorms and a low around 70. Sunday, thunderstorms are still likely with a high in the upper 80s. Sunday night will be partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms and lows in the upper 60s. And Monday looks partly cloudy with only a slight chance of thunderstorms and highs near 90 degrees. Monday night will be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of, you guessed it, thunderstorms and low in the lower 70s. That's your local forecast. Stay tuned for local sports in just a moment. Each week, Terry Ditzler and Connie Thompson take a look at current events ranging from local to worldwide, from touchdowns to teenagers, tornadoes to tsunamis, and ask the question, where is God in all of this? Connie is the pastor and Terry is the intern pastor of New Joy Lutheran Church, located at 316 West 156th Street in Westfield. You can email them at joy at the times 24-7.com. The journey begins only in the Times. The U-12 Hoosier FC Elite girls team finished its season with a second place finish at the Indiana President's Cup. Five Hamilton County players, four from Noblesville and one from Carmel were part of the team. Because of the achievement and the high number of players in the county, the Hoosier FC Elite team is this week's Times Team of the Week. In other sports news, a total of 25 area golfers will tee off Monday at the start of the Indiana Amateur Championship being held at the Otter Creek Golf Club in Columbus. The tournament will run through Thursday. Round one will be played Monday and round two on Tuesday. Then the field will be cut to the low 60 and ties for the final two rounds on Wednesday and Thursday. Also, two Hamilton County golfers are in the middle of the action this week at the Tate & Lyle Players Championship, the LPGA Futures Tour Major that is taking place in Decatur, Illinois. Noblesville's Ashley Prang and Carmel's Amy Neff are part of the four-way tie for 12th after the first 36 holes. The 72-hole event, Prang and Neff are both five under par for the tournament. Today's news has been brought to you in part by the National Guard. In the National Guard, you serve your country as a soldier and you serve the people of your community. In the aftermath of a natural disaster, you bring food, supplies, medical aid, and most important, you bring hope. This is the moment to change your life and perhaps someone else's. Visit NationalGuard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. That's your local news for the weekend. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage and pick up a print copy of the Noblesville Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.